Well, I'm from um, I'm from UK, but uh, more often we say Bonnie Scotland. Um, so I've uh, I, I lived and worked in Scotland in the textile trade, and uh, took opportunity many years ago to come to Sri Lanka. Um, been in and out. It's my third third stint of being here. Enjoy it. Um, got a family, married, uh, four kids. Um, most of them grown up now. My last one, uh, boy, uh, he lives he lives here with me in Sri Lanka. Um, previously, I thought it was the the ultimate, which we we, we called it, going around uh, around Sri Lanka. Um, we we ultimately gave that the tour de Tapa Bay, but subsequent to that, uh, I have to say, last weekend we we did a we did a ride um, through the through the rainforest. Um, not my cup of tea. I enjoyed getting there. I enjoyed the rain. I struggled with the, the, the roads and the terrain actually inside inside the, the rainforest. Um, the, it, it's not the easy thing for me. The Royal Enfield's a great average bike. It's not an off-road bike. So again, struggled with that a little bit. So I guess most challenging so far for me has been that. And I'll say so far because I'm hoping there's going to be many more. But I would say so far that one. Okay. Uh, Royal Enfield, why do I ride the Royal? Um, it's a classical bike, it's a, it's a historic British bike. Um, I coincidentally had no plans to buy one and rode past the, rode past, sorry, drove past the Royal Enfield showroom one day and thought, wow, that's nice. Uh, stopped and had a look, uh, took the prices on it and um, within half, a, half an hour, I think I picked my wife up, took her to see it, said, look, I fancy one of these um, and, and secured the purchase. Um, it's, it's a classic bike. I felt it was one of the best around here. I didn't want to just take up a certain bag or whatever. Um, it's a great all-round bike. And um, the other nice thing is when you are riding, every time you stop, people want to talk to you about your bike. Um, I think two things again. Uh, for me, riding to the highest road in the world is, is to say you've done it. To say you've done it. Um, I've lived in Asia or, or the Asian region now for 20 plus years. Um, if I don't do it now, I never will, because I don't see myself coming back from the UK to take on this ride. Um, doing it with the with the boys is, is another compliment. Um, so I think I think for me it's just a challenge. It's a period in time, you know. Uh, for any stories for kids or grandkids in the future, what better than to say I've I've ridden a bike across the highest road in the world? Fantastic. Be safe. Uh, I. I Every time I go on the bike in and around Colombo, I just I just can't believe the 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 chaos if if I can use that word um, on how people ride. Um, we we ride with boots, we ride with jeans. We didn't ride with uh, body armor. We do now. Um, I I think in and around Colombo, a minimum should be you know riding with slippers and you know I I I don't understand the logic. Guys need to understand that you know these these are these are death machines you know and they they should be safe. That would be my biggest, my biggest advice. We've had a lot of years together, which has been great. Uh, look at the end of the day, you know, what do you speak about if you're about to pass away? It's, it, it's never about your job, it's never about, it's always about family. It's always about uh, your relationship. Um, no matter how, how you fall, it falls down to people. Um, we, we, all, we all work for an end means, which is to look after our family. So without question, I'm sure we could do that.